Welcome to Cooking Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to get weather with the Yahoo Weather API. So this is the weather for Vancouver, British Columbia. I just made this thing, you know. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's 43 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly cloudy over there. So, let's do this thing. So to get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And there's some JavaScript in this, but I think it's better to start with the HTML today, so let's do that. So start by opening a div tag, div. And actually, I'm going to save this file. I'm going to call it weather.html and get rid of this .txt just so that it has the nice uh, colors. See? Div turned blue and stuff. And then inside that div, you're gonna have another div. I know. But there's a reason, there's a reason. Inside it, on click, div on click equals and in quotes, double quotes, just so you know, window dot open open parentheses and open single quotes https colon slash slash www dot yahoo dot com slash question mark l i c sorry not l i c but i l c equals four hundred one close single quotes close parentheses, semicolon, close double quotes. And the reason we're doing this is because Yahoo's got some attribution guidelines that we need to follow. So inside this div is going to be the actual weather data, and they require you, if you're using their API, to make it so that when you click on it, it'll open that page or the page specified in the data. My data doesn't specify any link, so I'm having it open that page and you can get in trouble for not doing that. You also have to have a little image down there. I'll show you that later. All right, so inside this div, put h1 id equals, and in quotes, temp. That's where I'm going to put the temperature. Slash h1, you don't need to put anything in there. h2 on the next line id equals and in quotes desk for description that's where I'm going to put the description close that h2 tag slash h2 you don't need to put anything inside it just like the other one and finally an h3 tag h3 id equals and in quotes date because that's where I'm going to put the date so smart right and close that h3 tag and close the div but what about the other div up there well that div also serves a purpose inside it we're gonna have a ref equals and in quotes https colon slash slash www dot yahoo dot com slash question mark I L C equals 401 close quotes target equals and in quotes underscore blank close quotes and inside the a tag you're gonna have an image img src equals and in quotes https colon slash slash powered by dot yahoo dot com slash sorry, slash purple dot png close quotes width equals and in quotes 134 close quotes, height equals and in quotes, 29, close quotes, 
and slash close that image tag and close the a tag and you need to have this right here be exactly as I told you because Yahoo wants it that way that's part of their attribution guidelines you have to have that there just so you know don't want to get in trouble with them and slash div close that that div you opened way up there on line one all right now you're gonna need to have a link copied which I'll put in the description which is the place that you're going to be querying um, yeah have that link copied you're gonna need it open a script tag script src equals and in quotes paste the link and before closing up those quotes you're gonna need to do something you're gonna need to type select item dot condition from weather dot forecast where w o e i d space equals space and here's where you'll put the w o e i d of wherever you want to get the weather from I'm getting the weather for Vancouver, British Columbia, and so that number would be 9807. Yahoo's weird. And symbol. Format. Format. Equals. JSON. And. Callback. This is the function that we're going to be using the JavaScript for. Equals done. That's what I'm calling my function. And close those quotes. And close the script tag. All right. We're done with the HTML. Now it's time for some JavaScript. So back in your text editor, go up to the first line and create a new line so you, your code looks like this. Pop open a script tag. Script. And I'm going to close it on the next line just so it doesn't interfere with the colors and stuff. Inside of it, whoa, what was that? Inside of it, you're going to make a function, but it has to be variable name. So VR var done function name equals function open parentheses data and data is the variable that has all of the weather data that Yahoo just gave us open curly braces and inside we're gonna make a variable var temp for temperature equals data dot query dot results dot channel dot item dot condition condition dot temp that's a lot of dots semicolon on the next line var text this is where this is going to go inside the description, just so you know. Equals data dot query dot results dot channel. Whoops, I put a slash instead of a dot. Don't make the same mistake I did. Results dot channel dot item dot condition dot text and finally gonna make one more variable var date equals data dot query dot results dot channel dot item 
dot condition dot date. Phew, that was a lot of dots. And there's more dots coming. Because my favorite command document dot get element with a capital first E element by with a capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes date that's right I'm doing the date first dot inner HTML with a capital H T M and L equals date semicolon on the next line doc document dot get element with capital first E element I keep spelling it wrong also don't capitalize the G like I just did you're not supposed to do that that was a mistake go back over here by ID open parentheses and open quotes D E S C for desk that's right this one doing the description close parentheses dot inner HTML with capital H T M and L equals text semicolon and finally on the next line document dot get no capital G get element L uh, capital E element by capital B ID with a capital I open parentheses open quotes T E M P for temp close quotes and close parentheses dot inner HTML with capital H T M and L equals temp plus plus and in quotes and symbol D E G semicolon space F that'll make the degree symbol and it'll say degrees Fahrenheit and finally close curly braces down here and semicolon we're done with the JavaScript all right and now we just need to test it save that and pop open your browser. Alright, let me just shrink this window down a little bit. Click on developer on my desktop and here it is weather.html. Let me just drag it into my new tab. And it doesn't work. All typos all done. There were some bugs as you can see over here. I seem to have misspelled uh, document.getElement by ID a couple of times. So as you can see, it works. Um, there are a bunch of typos because I'm bad at typing, but it works. Jink. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch! And remember that bagels are tasty.